Hello and welcome to the Band in a Box 2012.5 New Features and New Reel Tracks video. In this video we're going to show you some of the great new features in Band in a Box 2012.5 and at the same time we'll show you some of the great new Reel Tracks in Reel Track sets 155 through 169. Also with Band in a Box 2012.5 we've added MIDI Super Tracks. Like Real Tracks, these are actual performances by real studio musicians that can play over any chord progression you enter, but they are recorded MIDI, so you have complete control over the sound by picking your favorite MIDI synth or VST plugin, and you can also edit individual notes. There are three sets of MIDI Super Tracks available now, and we'll check out some of them in the video as well. Right now we're listening to our Jazz Funk Move-In Styles from Real Track Set 160. This set features both rhythm section instruments and soloists playing over this cool, up-tempo jazz funk groove. There are two bass styles, including, for the first time ever, the fretless bass you're hearing here, two guitar styles, electric piano, both rhythm and soloist, and this excellent tenor sax soloist. As is the case with everything in Band in a Box, be it real tracks, MIDI super tracks, or classic Band in a Box styles, everything you're hearing right now was generated by Band in a Box simply by typing in these chords, picking the style, and pressing play. Even this sax solo was created based on these chords. You can enter any chords you want in any key, and Band in a Box is able to play them in this style or many, many other styles. For example, I can easily change some chords. C minor at bar 2, F minor 7 at bar 3, B flat 7 at bar 4. I can change the whole thing to the key of G. And in moments, it will generate all the instruments again in this new key with my changes to the progression. Let's check out some other great new reel tracks in sets 155 through 169. We have two new Texas blues rock sets. One is an up-tempo rock and roll groove, and we have this medium even eighths groove with a tinge of funk. These real tracks are from set 156, which also includes two soloists, one by Nashville legend Brent Mason and the other by up-and-coming prodigy Saul Philcox. With this particular demo, I've also added a MIDI Super Tracks piano style performed by top session pianist John Jarvis. MIDI Super Tracks display in the instrument list in blue. As I mentioned before, this is an actual musical performance, like real tracks, but because it's MIDI, you have complete control over the source, either your own MIDI synth or your favorite VST plugin. And here I'm using Garrett and Jazz and Big Band Piano. We'll check out more MIDI super tracks later in the video. Here we have styles from the other Texas Blues Rock set, up-tempo rock and roll, here with the Brent Mason soloist. By popular request, we've added Afro-Cuban styles to our Real Tracks collection. We have two sets, a slow, grooving bolero, and this Son Montuno set. For the first time we have a Cuban Trez, which is a guitar-like instrument, but one with three courses, or groups, of doubled strings, making it similar to a 12-string guitar or mandolin, but with its own very distinct sound. Another new feature in Band in a Box 2012.5 is that real tracks have been made able to anticipate chords by a full quarter note. This is utilized with this style and you'll notice that the bass anticipates the chord in the following bar by a quarter note, something that is essential to capture the groove of this kind of music. 
This set also comes with a bass style that plays it in a more conventional manner, if you'd prefer that for your song. And here's a short sample of some of the styles from the Bolero set. The 15 new real track sets and the three MIDI super track sets can be purchased individually and you can get all of them by choosing the Ultra Pack. In addition to that, we have them separated into three real packs, pop rock, jazz, or country, if you're only interested in these certain genres. The Afro-Cuban styles have been included in the latest jazz real pack, along with new Dixieland styles, the jazz funk we heard at the beginning, and a new set of jazz organ waltzes by New York great Mike Ledun that we're hearing here. This set has both rhythm and soloist styles. The rhythm styles have versions where Mike also plays the bass lines, which is traditional for organ jazz. And there are versions like this where it's only compy, so the bass part can be played by an upright player. Set 162 is an all Dixieland set with a slow Dixieland groove. The pop rock reel pack has the blues styles we listened to earlier, and we also have a set of modern dance pop styles. By popular demand, we have many new styles by legendary pianist John Jarvis. We have real track styles as well as MIDI super track styles in both the pop rock and country real packs. This style is the pop rootsy piano, and we have many more. There are styles like these that are meant to be used with great real tracks rhythm sections. And we have styles like these. Solo accompaniment styles that are meant to work great on their own with no other rhythm section instrument. Perfect for backing up a singer or soloist. Here John is backing up a guitar solo by Brent Mason, a previously released real track style. And as you can see by the blue color of the piano, this is a MIDI super track style. We have two sets of killer country soloing. Set 168 is an all western swing soloist set. We have many real styles that utilize the different soloists here, but this one uses all of them trading off every eight bars. Set 169 is a mixture of different instruments, mandolin, fiddle, piano, and resonator guitar, soloing over a variety of grooves. Here's a great slow country ballad with a tasty mandolin soloist. There are many other new real track styles that you'll be sure to love, and you can check out more demos at www.pgmusic.com. 
But for now, let's look at some of the new features in Ban in a Box 2012.5 in more detail. We touched briefly on MIDI Super Tracks earlier. Now let's check these out in more detail. As we mentioned before, we have three sets of MIDI Super Tracks. Pop Piano and More, All Jazz, and Sweet Country Piano. And each set comes with real styles that use the MIDI Super Tracks, either on their own, or combining them with real tracks, real drums, and in some cases even the MIDI instruments from the old school Band in a Box styles. In the jazz category we have the full tempo range of jazz pianos, jazz basses, and jazz organs. Because it's MIDI you don't need to consider stretching audio like you do with real tracks, but it's still good that these styles were recorded at various tempos because musically the players will play very differently at slow tempos than they would at higher tempos. So all tempos are covered. I'll load one of the demos for this medium jazz swing piano style. If I press play, it will play the bass and piano through my default synth, Coyote Wavetable. This is my default synth, and unless I've specified otherwise, all instruments will be routed here using the channel that they're sending from Band in a Box. So you can see the piano we're hearing is on channel 3, and the bass we're hearing is on channel 2. If we had a MIDI melody, it would be on channel 4. If we had a MIDI soloist, it would be on channel 8, etc. But with Band in a Box 2012, we introduced the ability to have individual synth support for each track. So we could pick different synths for the different instruments, which is what I'll do here. For the bass, I'll pick the forte. And for the piano, I'll pick the aria player, where I have Garretton, Jazz, and Big Band. Now, if you recall, earlier I said that the piano was sending on channel 3, so in the past I would have had to remember that as well as where all the other instruments were located. While new with Band in a Box 2012.5, you no longer need to worry about that. I can load the piano wherever I like, in this case the first unused slot on channel 1, if I then choose the new Force MIDI channel feature, I can set it to channel 1. Now any note from the piano track, because we have piano selected here, will be changed to channel 1 when it's sent to this synth, and will therefore be able to hear it. Now you don't need to worry about other instruments that might also be sending on channel 1. They are still completely separate. Now we didn't need to do that on the bass track because the Forte is a general MIDI synth and it accepts the patch change and channel right from the bass track. This force channel feature is useful for plugins like Garretton where you need to load the instruments yourself into the various slots. And the great thing about force channel is that it saves when you save the preset group. For example, I could save this preset as my favorite piano. I'll now open another song, a real tracks jazz waltz with a MIDI piano soloist. Now the soloist is a completely different track that usually sends on a different channel. But if I load that preset I saved, we can put that out of our mind completely. The piano in the area player loads on channel 1 and the force channel setting forces the soloist to channel 1, so we don't even have to think about it. It just works. Here's another MIDI super track style, a bossa. Like the jazz swing one, both the bass and piano here are MIDI super tracks, and the drums are real drums. And as we can see in the mixer, I've already got it loaded with Garretton using the area player on both the bass and the piano tracks. Again, I can stress that it doesn't matter if different instruments are using the same channel when you do it like this. I used presets that force both the bass and piano to channel 1, but it doesn't matter because they're kept completely separate. 
Now another great thing about MIDI Super Tracks is that you have control not only over the sound, but over the individual notes. I'll show you this in action with this song. First of all, I'll enter a hold at bar 8 by typing F7 dot dot dot. So the instruments now hold here. If I now have something specific I want the bass and piano to do, I can edit those tracks. First of all, I'll freeze the tracks so they don't regenerate on playback. I'll go into editable notation mode for the piano, and I'll get rid of those held notes. And I'll enter my own notes, an arpeggio of F9 starting on A, And I'll do the same on the bass track, this time starting the arpeggio on the F. And let's see how that sounds now. There have been other MIDI improvements as well. When saving a MIDI file, you now have the option of saving at higher resolutions. In the past, Band in a Box saved all MIDI at 120 PPQ, or parts per quarter note. This is a very good resolution, and in listening tests, people can't generally tell the difference. But if you prefer to work in a DAW at a higher PPQ, you can now save as high as 1920. Another new feature is the addition of new chord types, the Add To, Minor Add To, and Diminish Triad. You can now add these chords, and for MIDI styles and certain real tracks or MIDI super tracks, they will play that way. For example, I'll press New and start entering some chords for this MIDI super tracks bossa style to play. I'll start with A Dim, which has always been in Band in a Box. For jazz players, dim implies diminished seventh, and that is always how it has worked in Band in a Box. However, some people have requested the diminished triad to be available, which omits the seventh. And so this can now be added as dim five. So I'll enter C sharp dim five. The two chord has always been present, which generally implies that the third be left out. So I'll enter F2. But if you want the two and the third, we now have add to, so I'll type E flat add to. And finally, we have minor add to, so I'll type GM add to. I'll press play to generate, and we'll stop and look at what it's done. So over the A dim, or A diminished seventh, it correctly has the seventh, F sharp. For C sharp dim five, it correctly omits the seventh. There is no a sharp or B flat. For F2, there is no third, the A. For E flat add to, however, there is a third, G natural. And for G minor add to, we have the second note, A. And I'll just play that for you. We saw before that you can change the synth that you're using to play back the MIDI, but of course you can also pick completely different instruments altogether. For example, here I have the Train Beat John MIDI Super Tracks Piano playing along with Real Tracks instruments. Well, I can change that to clavinet to get a funkier sound. Other real tracks enhancements include improved real charts so that the notation and guitar tab display more accurately. These are some of the styles from real tracks set 166, Praise and Worship, Modern Groove. And as you can see, the guitar looks great in notation and tab.
as well as on the on-screen fretboard. Now with the MIDI Super Tracks, I showed you actual STY style files in the style picker that had MIDI Super Tracks embedded in them. You can also pick individual MIDI Super Tracks instrument styles to add to an existing song. Simply right click on a track. I'm going to pick the melody track since there's nothing on it, but you can do the same with any track. And I'll pick Select MIDI Super Track for this track. I can now filter the list and I'd like to add a synth pad. And I'll pick this Modern Groove Mellow style. Just like with the other MIDI Super Tracks, we can set a different synth, or if we're using a default GM synth, you can change the GM patch here. I'll try Saw Wave Lead to give it a bit more of an edge. There is also a new Quick Select Real Tracks dialog. This has been added to the menu for the instrument radio button at the top of the screen, allowing you to quickly select a real track without having to open up the full dialog. For example, I could quickly add a real track style to the soloist track. I'll put a filter, Modern Groove Solo. and I now have a soloist from the same set added. The loops dialog has also been enhanced with two new features. You can rename a loop with this button and clone a loop duplicating it so you can use it with different parameters. Another new feature is that we've added simpler variations to many, many more real track styles. The simpler variations of real tracks reduce the amount of rhythmic and or chordal embellishment for any given style. And while there were previously 43 styles with simple variations, there are now over 200 giving you a lot more control over how complex you want your song to be. One example is the Gypsy Jazz Fast John acoustic guitar style. I'll play you a bit of it as it is. You can hear right off the top that there is a fancy rhythmic embellishment moving from the G minor to the C minor. This is very cool stuff, but maybe you want it to be a bit simpler for your song. If we go into the Real Tracks picker, we can see there is an S in the Simpler Available column. So we can select Simpler here, and we'll listen again. And we can hear that fancy embellishment is gone. You can see that if you go back into the Real Tracks picker, if we sort by the Simpler Available column, this is now the list of real tracks with simple variations. We hope you enjoy these new features in Band in a Box 2012.5, as well as the great styles in real tracks sets 155 through 169 and MIDI Super Tracks sets 1 to 3. Have fun!